We have a very special treat coming to the Shibinu community this week. It was not expected, but much anticipated. And this is very essential in the vertical integration of the Shibarium ecosystem. What I'm talking about is the launch of the Shiba Inu cold wallet. Now we've talked about this before. There's been some sneak peeks throughout the week. If you guys haven't seen, this is what it's going to look like. Pretty, pretty sick if I might, might add, but the, the cold wallet, if you're not familiar, cold wallet is a way to store crypto. It's not constantly connected to the blockchain helps prevent against hacks, exploits, stuff like that. Just helps keep your assets safer. There's been talk obviously of the Shibarium, Shibin U development teams working on building not only a cold wallet, but a hot wallet as well, which that should be coming to. But this is a very important part. Remember, they're building everything from the ground up. Uh, really, what they need is just a fiat on-ramp, off-ramp, and then boom, you got it all. Now, this isn't the only thing that I have for you guys. In fact, the, uh, the Shibarium development team, the Unification Foundation, actually released some more updates regarding Shibarium itself and PuppyNet. Now, the two of the updates that they deployed are the verified open randomness and the Oracle of Oracles, two essential parts in both the... I guess, security and functionality of Shibarium. Now, the VOR is used to generate true randomness in different applications, such as on-chain gaming, lottery, and generative NFTs. The Oracle of Oracles, if you guys remember, this is what we were stuck waiting on for quite some time. It helps prevent price hacks and provides the best prices for decentralized investment funds. Tons of great things are happening. The teams are working hard to move forward. You can obviously read through this a little further if you want to dive in to get a little more understanding of what they do, it's a little complex and I don't want to bore you guys with the details, but right now we are getting very, very close. All right. We are getting, and I'm sure you guys are probably tired of hearing very soon, but realistically we are getting very, very close to Shibarim being here. Okay. Obviously we've talked about the potential of June, July, August. Well, we're almost halfway through May already. June is going to be here before we know it. As we get closer, there's going to be more and more updates. Obviously, most of them have come from the unification team. That's who we should be listening to. Obviously, Shaitoshi gives us a little more cryptic information. But nonetheless, everything that we've been seeing so far is one step closer to the launch. And they are essential parts. And this is getting very exciting. I'm sure you guys are as excited as I am. But that's all I got for you guys today. Just wanted to do a quick video on these. There is great stuff happening this week. And we're going to see this just kind of start to snowball as time goes on. So appreciate you guys as always show your support below. If you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a great day and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.